by the name of Barack Obama. He was running for the Senate in Illinois at the time. And uh, he came out and said, you know what? I'm not in favor of the war. We shouldn't be there. That took judgment. It took a lot of courage. That was against the grain. Remember, everybody was saying, you know, we should go in there. We should go in there. We should go in there. Well, that was $600 billion ago. $600 billion is spent, has been spent to date in Iraq. And that means that we haven't been able to build our schools. We haven't been able to build our communities. We haven't been able to reduce oil prices and fuel prices because we've spent all the money over there. Now, 4,000 lives later, here we are. We need fundamental change in American politics. It's plain and simple. John McCain wins this election. He's going to keep all of the individuals who took us into that war. They're all going to stay there. Senator Clinton wins this election. She's going to bring back all those people who were in Washington eight years ago to, to talk about uh, you know, all that kind of Washington stuff again. But Senator Obama, who's he going to bring in? He's going to bring in fresh people with fresh ideas from outside of Washington, D.C. Yeah. You know, people talk to us all the time, well, you know, don't you want the most experienced candidate to win this race? We say, absolutely. That's why we're back in the most experienced candidate in the race. You know, when he got health insurance for 20,000 young children in Illinois, talk to those people about who's the most experienced candidate. When he opened up the federal government, right, Coburn Obama bill, he opened up the federal government, put all federal spending on a website. Talk, now we can all see where all this pork, all these projects are going, all these little uh, roads to nowhere. Now we can see it. The government's more open and transparent because of Barack Obama. Talk about, if you think about welfare reform in Illinois, that's because of Barack Obama. You think about ethics reform and a gift ban that he passed in Illinois, and now he's championed legislation in the United States Congress to do the same thing in Washington. You see, it's that kind of change we need. We don't need more of the same. We don't need more of the old. We need a more open and transparent government. We need a government that works for all of us. That's what this campaign is all about. Now, it's not about all the politicians. It's not about all the, all the political people. What this is about is just us. Just us as family, us as community, us as people who want a better future for our children and our grandchildren. That's what this race is about. We can do it. You know, they say in Pennsylvania that uh, Senator Clinton's unbeatable. Well, you know what? We like being the underdogs, don't we? Yeah. Because we're always the underdogs when it comes to Washington, D.C., aren't we? We're the yeah. underdogs when we fill up our gas tank every day. We're the underdogs when we go in the grocery store. We're the underdogs when we're just walking on the street because you know what? The government has been taken over by these insurance companies. It's been taken over by the big corporate special interest. All the people funding everybody else's campaigns, they're not funding Barack Obama's campaigns. You know who is? We are. Yeah. We are, right? We're the legs, we're the $50 contributions online from throughout this country. This is a race and a campaign about all of us. It's not about them. And we need to send a message on April 22nd that is enough, is enough in American politics. We're going to make a change, and we're going to start that change with Senator Barack Obama. Thank you.